Press the magic button. <laughs> we have begun. We have begun. <laughs> Welcome to Oversoul, One Voice, We Are One. Uh, this is a One Consciousness streamed podcast available audio through Spotify and video via the YouTube channel Oversoul Truth Music. And throughout ooh, quite a number of weeks now, we've had a number of um, incredible human beings, and it's wonderful to be with genuinely a friend, somebody I've known for some period of time. Uh, We've met in a number of different places. Um, We've worked creatively. You've shared music that I've created. So I am with today my good friend, Kate King. Kate, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you, Ray. Thank you very much for having me. This is ever so exciting. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's brilliant. And it's I tell you what's incredible. I, I, I don't know sometimes how long, you know, I've known somebody. I don't I don't keep a track mm. record. It's not kind of like I'm yeah. thinking, right, I've known you for this long. How, how, long, <laughs> yeah. how, how long approximately is it that we, we've known each other, Kate? uh between five and seven years i think wow. right? yeah yeah because I, I i i'm only going back to the fact that i've been at wickham sound yeah. or i would have been at wickham sound seven years yeah. um and i think i was there two years when i met you so yeah it's between five and seven years yeah there we are long enough to have formed an opinion on me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i think i think hopefully that's a good thing because you're back you're back. So, I am. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad we're together. I'm glad we're together. And I'm glad I can share you with those that connect here. Um, and the whole thrust of what we're aiming to do is share experience. Um, because sometimes, uh, you know, it's a challenge in life, isn't it? It's a challenge getting through um, for everybody. And the last couple of years have been very, very difficult. So I'm going to ask you, Kate, please, to share... Not just what you do, because I know there's a variety of things and you've touched already a little bit there on radio, but in some ways also what has led you to, particularly the communication that you share, because you're a a, a phenomenal communicator, you really are, (laughs) and I know you work in a number of different platforms I'd like you to share, but I want you to also share what you do, where you are, but most importantly, why? Why do you think this form of communication is so important? Because it is something that is very much you. So what has led you to that? So if you could kind of unpack all of what I've just said um, and share your journey, I guess, really, is, is, is bringing it down to what it is. Thank you, Ray. Well, I'm Kate. Um, I'm known as Katie as well. Um, I answer to both. I have to. Um, (laughs) And (laughs) I have to. I have to do that. Um, And I work in radio, as you say. I used to work at a local radio station um, in High Wycombe. Um, but I also do hospital radio as well. Um, I love my music. 
I grew up listening to 60s stuff. So my dad is very much into Matt Monroe, Glenn Miller, the big band stuff. I think I was the only five-year-old who knew who Glenn Miller was. <laughs> um, but, but then at school, it was very much sort of Avril Lavigne, um, Aqua and Steps, you know. So two worlds, really, that don't really go together. And let's face it, still really don't today. Mm -hmm. um, nothing's really changed. Um, in 2017, I made a YouTube channel um, after actually seeing a video by Jim Chapman, who makes videos, and he was talking about and giving tips on how to become a really good communicator mm -hmm. and how YouTube has really helped him in his journey to becoming a YouTuber. And I thought, oh, I could do that. I could sit in my room in the comfort of my own home with a camera and me. And I did. I set it up and my first video is awful. You can go and have a look at it if you like. <laughs> it is horrendous. We have to start and, somewhere, sorry. don't we, Kate? We have to start somewhere. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got so many views, I don't even know how. Um, but that's quite interesting, actually, because I think people like to watch it because they like to know... Uh, if something goes wrong you know it's very interesting mm. isn't it people mm. really do like to watch just in case something goes wrong um so I started doing that and then people were watching them and I thought oh hello oh good <laughs> oh wow people were actually watching my content and that's been a five-year journey in itself um I've always been on the outside looking in of everything and so therefore doing media stuff and doing youtube instagram every media going it's actually helped me uh with communicating with people my own age yeah are, are you okay kate are you okay sharing because it's a it's a real insight what you yeah. just said there the the phrase outside looking in um yeah. i'm not going to talk about my experience just because you know it, it I'm not overly, I've, I've shared it before, but I have experienced that myself, as I'm sure many have, you know, that feeling yeah, it, of being at that bit feeling of being outside looking in. It it, it's, 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 it's a horrible feeling, right? Yeah. It's, it, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it, and when I, you know, I, I, ha I have older parents, mm -hmm. I'm an only child and we have a disability. So mm -hmm. I have the three sort of major points where when you start school, it's just a nightmare because you don't fit in either way. You can't do sport because of the disability mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You can't. You can't say, "Oh, I've got a sibling," because you don't, and mm -hmm. you're an only child. So therefore, you just don't fit in that way. And as well, you don't. You don't fit in um, because of the older parents thing you know my mum and dad especially my dad you know didn't feel as though he could communicate with other dads in the playground because there was that major uh difference um in age wow. so you know I felt left out right from then and it hasn't really changed you know uh, since leaving school and college it's got better but it's not <sighs> I've never really felt as though I belong somewhere because I've, I feel as though I've got nothing in common when I meet someone my own age. Mm. And I don't even like the same music as them. So, yeah. Well, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a very yeah. eclectic mix. It's a very eclectic mix, what you've said, which is, of course, a good thing. So I, I suppose the stereotypical way of managing you know the, those challenges. You've you, you've you've touched on uh, your disability and, and yeah. your experience therein. You've talked about older parents um, and feeling you know outside looking in as a result of both of those things. Um, so what I'd now like to perhaps just expand a little bit more with you is, of course, the natural response to that could be to be quiet. 
and to not do anything. Yeah. So therefore, there's a courage. I genuinely mean what I'm about to say. There's courage in anyone stepping up to do any video. Um, you know, if they're, go- yeah. if, they're, if they're talking into a microphone, um, that takes courage. So you've, you've had the courage of your experience. And then you've taken it a step further because you've then actually done what a lot of other people who wouldn't have had that experience haven't done. Yeah, yeah that's so, right. So that's, yeah. Not, that's not me kind of, you know, attaching anything else to this other than you are you. But when, you, when you're communicating, yeah. have you found that your experience has actually benefited in some strange way? Oh, you're, oh you're, yeah, definitely. Yeah, great. Please, would you would you mind sharing yeah. just a, just a little bit on um, that, please? I, I I feel as though the experience that I can that I've experienced are uh, is relatable to anybody mm. else in that situation, mm. and actually not just people my own age, but if they're parents themselves and they've got an only child and they've only got you know, that, that they've only got the one, I think they can watch my videos and go, oh, actually, Kate's done all right for yeah. herself. Yeah. She, she, she's done okay. So, therefore, that, that it, it, it's inspiring to those parents and to children as well, like all ages, basically. Um, yes. And I think the disability thing yes. really helps really helps as well um i don't re- i don't i don't wear a badge you know i don't sort of walk into a room and go hello we've got the whole word beginning with a d you know it, it, it's pretty obvious when you look at me that we have a difficulty but i don't overly mention it unless it's asked um but i suppose it, it it's how I am. I've always been bubbly. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to be part of the group. And I've always wanted to just fit in as not, I hate the word normal, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As normally as possible, or yeah. in mainstream terms. And, and I'm genuinely, I, I just want to say this on my behalf. Um, I possibly could communicate on behalf of others to some degree. I'm not being presumptuous, but I (laughs) feel genuinely grateful for you. Um, The thing I was thinking before we came into this um, particular discussion, um, when I think of you, um, (laughs) there's very much a consistency. You know, like everybody, we have these challenges. We talk about obstacles, barriers, you know, things that we're trying to overcome. But that bubbly nature, that enthusiasm, that effusive, beautiful way of communicating, I yeah. very much think of you. Um, and, I, and I, you know, if I use me as a, a vulnerable example, sometimes, less so now, my mood sometimes tends to kind of do that. Not so much now, yeah. not so much now. I've kind of hit a bit more of an even keel, but I can be a little bit up and down. But whereas with yourself... You have a real, real enthusiastic, attractive um, power. And it really is. It really is. It's very attractive and welcoming, accessible, which is, I think, wonderful for those who may have relatable experiences to you, but also for everybody else. Yeah. Because oh, you, absolutely. Because you've, yeah, you've achieved and, a lot. You've achieved a lot. And that's not in any way meant to sound, if it does sound patronising, I'm genuinely sorry. No, but it is. Okay. You've achieved a lot. I mean, we were talking off air earlier, 7,000 YouTube followers. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> well, because when you find really out, happen, when you find I... out, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll write some tips for you. <laughs> Please. But it's incredible because you are such a good communicator. And I love it. I love the whole aspect. And I don't know if it's just my age because, obviously, you know, we've grown up with technology. Mm. So we really don't know any different people my own age. But I really do like the whole sort of um, sort of posting on media and mm-hmm. and getting people's reactions and it's not so much 
you know, in the news, there's been a lot of it in the me- on the media mm-hmm. about, mm-hmm. you know, people only posting to get, to get lights and mm-hmm. everything. I don't do it for that. I do it for my own, our, our own memories. Nice. And I also do it so that, and I also open the comment section up so that I can react and interact with people who might be going through the same thing, or it might be that they didn't know that about me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think there's something really, really touching about that. Yeah. Um, and actually, I ment- mental health. You know, if we're going down, if we're going to talk about that. Um, Obviously, the last two years have been incredibly... That's the only way I can describe it. Um, And mental health has been sort of in the... This is going to say... But in the back of my mind, you know, and I think that music, being with people, I think we've realised more so in the last two years how important those two things are. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's this connection, isn't it, Kate? And, that, and that's through your experience, what you create. So ra- rather than it being, you know, it defines you in the sense that, you know, you're not able to do certain things. You are utilising what you have to connect yeah. with others. And, and the, medium, I- the medium of music is just such a, you know, a, a great gateway. It's a great it gateway is. to kind of come yeah. in. Now, now, obviously, through what I do, I'm tending to originate music, so I'm not, I'm yeah. not, I'm not using what's already there. But in the same way, it, it, in a different way, it's the same thing, because I'm, I'm using the the means of this uh, platform, for example, to connect with others. Because exactly what you've just said, whilst our experiences are different we are yeah. affected by many of the same things in life. So that's where it becomes a value, what you're, what you're sharing. You know, you're creating yeah. an opportunity to provide that inspiration, that encouragement, that connection for others, which is, which is and, wonderful. And you said there, Ray, that um, I, I can't do certain things. Mm. Um, but actually, um, I I there's nothing really that I can't do and I'm not very good at um being told that I can't do something that irritates me immensely and it doesn't work with me because it it has a flip effect and I go I can actually and I will do it even though I might fall over (laughs) or I might sort of hurt afterwards I will do that because somebody has said you can't do that and that's that's the example okay that's the example because for me I know even more in this moment why I feel very drawn towards you because in a different way I'm the same you know, um, obviously, you know, my journey of throat cancer, um, et cetera. And there are things that I've been limited to be able to do. But yeah. whilst it's different, you know, I, I'm very drawn towards people that are driven to think, excuse me, hold on a minute. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this. And I love also as well your your thought of even though you might fall down. You know, because yeah. because again, <laughs> that, that's encouraging. That's so encouraging to us. Because you've got to try, mm. and I've always been a trier, if that is such a word. But <laughs> I, you know, I've always been, I've always been a trier, and I've always, if I can't do things what I call properly, mm. then I don't do them at all. Mm. For me, there is no point doing a workout in the morning and just standing there twiddling my toes. There is no point whatsoever. If I was to do a workout, and if I'm to do a workout on that TV, I want it to be proper. There is no way that we are doing it without doing it properly. Wow. I, I want to take a pause for a few things. There's a, there's a lot to absorb on a personal level again. I mean, it. you know, we're not scripted. We both know that. We know each other, um, you know, for, for a while now. Um, there are things that you're saying that are coming through the filter of my ears, and I'm thinking, that's really, really useful. <laughs> that's really useful and beneficial. 
Because sometimes, <laughs> I'm being honest, I do the opposite. So, right. you know, so to do things, you know, more thoroughly, more fully, it's a great reminder. And, um, you know, also not to let anything stop us. You know, absolutely. Everybody. Absolutely. Everybody. I, everybody. I, I, I think that is so important. And I, I, I think that, you know, I, it's obvious when I when I walk, like if you walk behind me, it's obvious that we've got a little bit of a problem. But actually, we don't dwell on that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important. You know, we've got medical appointments coming out of our ears. <laughs> you know, it's quite, it's quite, uh, um, but actually we don't let that spoil anything and we just live our lives as mainstream as possible. And I use the word mainstream because I prefer it to the word normal. But, yeah. yeah. You know, I think it's really, really, really important. And I, at school, I was exactly the same. Um, because at school, I think I think it's really important to touch on this. At school, it was very much the SEN children, which is like the special need department. They put, at school, they put the special need children on the same table. Like, you're always together. Mm -hmm. You're always with the special need children. So instead of interacting the special needs with the mainstream children, actually you're doing the complete, or schools are doing the complete opposite. You know, schools are doing the exact complete opposite. They are not utilising, for a better word, mm. their special need children and they're not interacting them with the others. I can't see a point of that and I'm very vocal about it and I left school seven years ago, but it's still, it's still there is that I believe and I truly believe that if you're, um, the word beginning with a D, <laughs> and you're in the special needs section, then you should be interacting with other children in your class if you're in a mainstream school. That's just, to me, that's, that's quite a thing, you know, that's quite very a big so. topic and I'm very passionate about it. Which is wonderful, and I'm so pleased you've shared it here too, um, because I I know um, parents who who feel the same, who you know have to continually, you know, work in some ways against the system. They're trying to work with it, but have to work against it because it's not operating how it should be. So it, I, it's just it, yeah. it's just crazy. It's like yeah. it's like yeah. GCSEs, like. I picked my own GCSEs, and I'm very mm. proud of the fact I picked my own GCSEs. Um, but, you see, I'm very vocal with it. So mm. if I thought something was wrong at school, then I would say so. Mm. And I wasn't I wasn't going to let anybody pick my GCSEs for me. I was I was going to do that. Um, and I think that's that's the uh, determination and you have to you have to fight, you know, you, not physically, but you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be worth willing to fight because actually it's a nightmare. <laughs> and if you yeah. let it beat you, then they've won then. So you have to really, really go, no, hang on a minute, stop right there. We are going to do this our way and we are not going to let the system win. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Right? yeah. No. No. There's no need for sorry. Please. I just kind of, you know, that's you're you're expressing in your way some very very deep level things that I feel, and not just I feel, others do too. So that's why we've got this one consciousness theme, you know, that we're having here. We are connected, you know, very much so. So I'm it's interested. So important. Yeah. I've got I've got views on what you're expressing there, and it might sound an obvious question, but I'm going to ask it. Why do you think that interaction, that that integration of, you know, just being together, mix it up rather than the stereotypical labelled definition way that the system is? Yeah. What do you think yeah. would be the benefits of more of a, you know, not sitting people on a particular table and not labelling people and, you know, moving them in together and mixing and matching things? How, how would you express the benefit of doing it that way? 
I think it works two ways. I mm -hmm. think it benefits us as a special needs mm -hmm. to actually go, oh, I'm sat on a different table. This feels really, really nice. Mm -hmm. I know that when I was at school, all the special needs were boys. So therefore, I needed to interact with other girls. I just mm -hmm. needed that other, you know, just mm -hmm. needed to be with another girl. Mm -hmm. And that was really important for me to do that. Um, but also for the other children, the fact that actually they go, oh, my goodness, Kate's normal. She wants to be with us, you know, and that's exactly what happens. And I think we can both, both levels can learn from it. Yeah. You know, they, they can go, oh, actually, you might be in that category, but actually you, you, you're one of us as well. And I think that's really important, especially when it comes to PE or uh, P PCSHE, is it called? You yeah, know, when they yeah, learn about citizenship yeah. and that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think it's really important um, because at school that that didn't happen for me, um, and I don't, and I want it to change so that future SEN children can have can have interaction with people who, let's face it, are better at things than we they are yeah. you know yeah. physically yeah. but actually um can actually go oh you know that that someone might be better at uh, me than running but actually we can we can d uh, spur each other on you know and work together and i think working together as a team collectively rather than the very lem them and us scenario works if it's them and us and the teachers are split <laughs> and, and that that com that comes into absolutely everything. That whole them and us, it, it's um, you know it's integrated, it's indoctrinated into society. It's conditioned. It's conditioned. It is. It and is. It's, it's and it's a it, part and it's of every different. system. Every system. It's it's very stereotypical actually. Yeah. Yeah. And and um, when I joined the bowls club. Mm -hmm. I very much expected it to be exactly the same. Mm. You know, I remember my first uh, uh, coaching session, my first experience of playing bowls, and I remember going, oh, you mean I can bowl like everybody else? Pardon? Mm. Mm. Oh, you don't mean... You're not going to tell me that there's a, a, a disabled session at 2 o'clock on a Thursday then? You know, that's what I expected it to be like. Yeah. And actually, bowls have um completely and that's indoors and outdoors have completely um integrated disabled and the able-bodied together mm -hmm. and it feels absolutely marvelous and that's exactly why i talk about bowls all the time because for me it's a sport that i can do like everybody else, without any adaptions, which for me is vital. Mm. I don't like adaptions. I hate them. Mm. Um, and actually, I can do it like everybody else. And uh, I think that everybody should do bowls because um, without bowls, I wouldn't feel as integrated as I do now. Do you, I've just got an interesting thought for you. This is just coming to me now. Have you, you know, I know bowls is it's, it's quite a... Uh, it's a national sport. Yes, know, it's, it not, is, it's, a, yeah. it's not a kind of um, you know a little tinkering around in a backyard type thing. It's actually <laughs> you know it's a proper yeah. it's a it's a proper sport. It's proper, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever thought about commentating? <laughs> I'm, I'm put I'm putting you on the spot now. <laughs> you are because I because I, mean, I suppose that's a yes or no answer. But I'm just thinking yeah, of your. I mean, of your experience I, of communicating, and then I mean, I would, I would never, I would never say never. I mean, mm -hmm. I hate yeah, the word good answer. no. Good answer. Um, but I would, I would definitely, yeah. I mean, I can't. You see, with bowls, you either bowl with a white jack or a yellow jack, and the whole yellow thing. I can't see. You know, I struggle seeing the whole yellow thing. So it would have to be a white jack match. Got but you. um, yeah, I don't see why not. No. That's a that's a actually Ray. That, that that that's something that I've never thought about. <laughs> there we are, there we are. That just came to me just then. I thought I'll, I'll ask it anyway, and there's no harm in asking, is there? So um, I'm coming. I'm coming down south because uh, currently, obviously, we used to live in the same. Um, we area. did, yeah. Yeah, I now live on the and northwest coast of the UK, and I'm coming down uh, beginning ish of mid 
ish of February, February the 11th, I've got um, a live performance at Queen's Park Arts Centre. Oh, uh, yeah. In, in mm. Aylesbury. Um, and I know mm. we're going to kind of be sharing things um, on that in, in the new year as well. So yeah. we'll definitely, definitely see you there. 100%. Lovely. Yeah. Mean, meantime, I'd like you to make available to our audience. There'll be um, links. I'll put yep. links in the description of the video. Um, in, in yep. the audio yep. for Spotify, but I'd like you to help others to know how they can connect with you and maybe a parting message of encouragement, of communication, uh, yep. you know, to help others at this time. You know, we're coming towards the end of 2022. There's a bit of uncertainty with a lot of stuff going on in the world at the moment. So how can people reach you? And also, is there a parting message you'd like to share with our audience um, before we finish today? Um, I'll do the message first. Good, great, brilliant, um, thank you. So I would say to any parent out there with a disabled child, mm -hmm. it's okay. There is a lot of help out there. And if you are in the Ellsbury area, if you're in Buckinghamshire, then there are quite a few uh, groups for disabled children um, and I would also say to the children who are disabled or struggle with communicating, mm. I would say set up a blog. Mm. Set up a blog and write down, as in literally type mm. down your feelings. Mm -hmm. Focus on maybe a hobby that you really like, like photography, or if you like your music, then a piece of a piece of paper and a pen and just start writing mm. and just sort of be creative in that way poetry I can't do poetry but <laughs> if you are really good at poetry then go for it mm. um but just sort of communicate in a different way and then that will then especially a blog because that's what I do um that will then help you connect with other people in your situation and then you can form friends that way rather than necess not necessarily sort of in real life that sounds very 2022 doesn't it but you know what I mean Completely. just focus on doing a blog and if you like a certain hobby then stick with that that's beautiful um which you know, you're a living, breathing an example of what you've just shared, which is always important, isn't it? To lead, lead by example, as you do. So now, yeah. how, um, where can others find you? How can they, how can they connect with you? Um, um, well, you, I've got a YouTube channel, as Ray has already mentioned, and you can find that by simply uh, putting Kate King into the YouTube um, search bar. Or you can find me on Facebook as Kate King. Um, and I, I, you, you can either add me on there or um, there is a special feature now that you can um, follow somebody without the whole add-in business, uh, mm. which saves mm. time. Mm. Um, and then you can also find me on a Tuesday night at Stoke Mandeville Hospital Radio, um, 8 till 10 p.m. I do the Tuesday Night Request Show with Steve, um, and that is on 101.8 FM or online, www uh smhr.co.uk or you can download our app look at that boom <laughs> <laughs> there, you can tell there, i did this yeah exactly there's there, there's the professional <laughs> right there 100 percent um and you obviously you'll share the links with me and i'll make sure on the you know the video version they'll be they'll be going along as you're saying them um and on the audio version they'll be in the description of both as well so fantastic thank you so much Kate and thank I you, can, cannot wait to be you know literally in the same room as you um, oh it'd be fantastic next I had no idea you lived in Blackpool that came as a bit of a I, shock to me yeah, I was I just, like <laughs> There we go. I, like, what okay. do you mean, I just disappeared. I just decided one day off I went. <laughs> Tra <laughs> Travelled a few up, hundred miles up the M6, and there I am. So. You did, yeah. 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 Thank you, Kate. And Take it's better Wi-Fi now. Now. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember. And you you remembered that very well. I don't know what was happening down there, but anyway, there we are. It didn't work. Now it does. So thank you. We're we're going up in the world. 
We're going up in We are. We've got, <laughs> we got better Wi Fi. Take care, Kate. Nice to see you. Yeah? Take care, Way. Right, Thanks, bye everyone. Bye. 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 We will rise as one and stop. Stop the